No. Shoot that. Shoot that turkey away. No. 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 Oh. Jimmy Jack. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Deadpool? Where did you come from? I came from a box. Where do you think I came from? Wait, what? You were in a food coma. And did you hear the one of the one legged man in the asking contest? You're. <sighs> you okay? Hello? Oh. Fuck. Hey, what's up everyone? This is John bringing another video for you. And this is of my 112 Deadpool. And I gotta say, this thing is really freaking sweet. The exquisite detail, the sculpting, um, the mesh spandex suit, the very smooth pleather. This thing is pretty amazing of how much detail and care with it into this figure um it's great i absolutely like it it is really cool it's solid it it makes a presence but not only that this guy comes with a lot of accessories getting down to the brass tacks he um has a very beautifully sculpted desert eagle I can get out of the holster there we go and as you can tell it has a lot of dry brushing some very nice detail the um the hilt of the handle has Deadpool's logo on it and not only that it comes with a very small magazine don't lose these I'm not even kidding but for other weapons he, Deadpool has here he comes with a M4 carbine with an M203 grenade launcher attachment and it has a lot of detailing it the dry brushing on it is fantastic it looks like a legit m4 and especially with the ACOD um, the grenade launching thing and then the iron sights it is really cool and neat feature of the 203 if you open it and you see these rounds on Deadpool's shoulder take it out oh, come on come on there we go got it make sure you don't lose those those are pretty small too <laughs> and then what you want to do you stick that into the uh, two, M203 and you slide it back and it's in there of course it will go through the hole so just make sure you keep the weapon up in the air instead of point it downward where the uh, round can fall out of the 203 And not only that, but he has these very tiny grenades. And as you can see on the detailing of the grenades, he, there's the Deadpool eyes and it's red. Has a very nice gun metal for the uh, top of the grenade. And then his katanas. Pretty, pretty sharp for very pliable plastic, I wonder. Okay, just kidding. I'm, I'm not that crazy. But in other words, these are very sculpted nice. They have a lot of cool detail. The They really stand out. I'm not going to lie about that. So, yep. And he comes with a alternate head. As you can see, it's one of those heads that he questions everything. So what we want to do, you want to rip the freaking head up. Oh, God. Decapitation. And then you quickly put the other one back on. Just, just hurry, hurry. Oh, whew. All right, I think we're good. Oh, I thought I almost killed someone there for a second. Oh wait, it's Deadpool, so he regenerates. But yeah, the alternate head is a very nice add-on. It, it is a comic, comical look. I'm not gonna lie about that. So to put his katanas in his hands. Just slide them in like that. 
Let me slide the other one, one in. I don't know why I'm narrating to put katanas in a semi-open hand. You just freaking put it in the hand and that's about it. If you can't figure it out, well, there's no hope for you. I'm sorry. <laughs> but he doesn't not only include katana wielding hands, he also has a set of fists, gun wielding and grenade hands, hang loose hand, and a semi-relaxed hand. Not only that, but also include this platform and this uh, bit a stand, I'm guessing. So, as you can see, it moves. There's a claw, some bendy parts. So, what I'm going to do, we're going to take this peg out. Take this peg out, come on. All right, time to bring out the Gerber. So, we'll just put the Gerber right around the peg there, and then we're going to yank it out. Come on, yank it out. Damn it. Ah. All right, maybe this time. This time? Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Got it. Let's put that to the side. And then we're going to plug this in into the platform. And then bada bing, you got to stand. Then you put Deadpool right in there. Just like that. Now I gotta say, the inclusion of this stand was pretty smart. You can get some really nice aerial poses. And I know I said poses, we're not there yet. But it's very nice to have. The posability on this figure is pretty good. His head is on a ball joint. Can go up that far and down that far. Movement at the arms. Go up that far, back that far. Raise the arm that high. He's got a double jointed elbow and a swivel at the wrist part. A swivel at the wrist. Hand moves up that far and down that far. An app crunch. There we go. Pretty nice. Leg kicks that, uh, that far and goes that far back. Beautiful spread. And can balance pretty well. Knee is on a double jointed bend. There we go. Swivel at the boot and a little bit of foot articulation. So yeah, overall this figure's pretty poseable, and very nice, very high quality. And you can get it in some pretty awesome action poses. Overall, this figure is amazing. The, from the high quality detail to the uh, spandex jumpsuit, the dry brushing, all, all of that just makes it very unique in, in its own way. And thanks for watching. What just landed on me? Oh, great.